Right, a change in state law is upending the way community colleges community colleges, excuse me, teach calculus. And the goal is to make the pathway to a STEM career more equitable and accessible to people historically underrepresented in science, technology, engineering, and math. But some math professors and students tell ABC 10 that they're worried the law could end up hurting the very people that it was designed to help. ABC 10's Becca Hobbegger explains. <laughs> In California, 116 community colleges serve some 2 million students. Many students pursuing a STEM degree, science, technology, engineering, and math, are required to take calculus. Some who did well in high school math are able to jump right into calculus, but others, up until recently, started in lower-level classes and tried working their way up to calculus with transfer-level college algebra, trigonometry, or pre-calculus, or even remedial classes, which do not transfer to four-year universities. Several years Years ago, the California Community College's Chancellor's Office argued with research there were students taking lower level math courses they might not actually need, delaying their calculus requirement and therefore their degree. Some students dropped out altogether. The length of the pathway to get to calculus for STEM majors is leading to an enormous amount of attrition. John Hetz is the executive vice chancellor with the California Community College's Chancellor's Office. He points to a 2016 report from the Public Policy Institute of California, which showed only about 27% of students who took a remedial math course eventually completed a college-level math course with a grade of C or better. Just 16% of students in remedial classes earned a certificate or associate degree within six years, and only 24% successfully transferred to a four-year college. Research showed Latino, Black, and low-income students were overrepresented in these remedial courses. His office and state lawmakers did something about this, creating two pieces of legislation. The first, AB 705, which went into effect in 2018, requires community colleges to consider a student's high school coursework and GPA as primary determining factors for placement to maximize the probability that a student will enter and complete transfer-level coursework in English and math within a one-year time frame. A study showed it helped at some colleges, but implementation varied across the system. One of the things that happened in, uh, in response to AB 705 is a number of our institutions lengthened their sequence of courses at transfer level, so college-level courses, but prior to calculus. And what the evidence shows pretty clearly about that is that when you lengthen that sequence, it dramatically decreases the likelihood that students get to the end of that sequence. And for a STEM major, right, calculus is not the end of the work, it's the beginning of the work. So in 2022, lawmakers passed AB 1705. It essentially bars community colleges from putting STEM students into remedial math courses and encourages students to be placed directly into Calculus One. The changes go into effect July 2025. What the evidence strongly suggests is that the best way for students who are STEM majors is to get them started in calculus with the appropriate support. Earlier this year, the chancellor's office began encouraging colleges to create a support course for STEM students who were less academically successful in high school to take alongside Calculus One. Colleges also have the option to design an innovative course that students can take the semester before calculus if they are struggling. But students with a high school GPA greater than 2.6 and who passed high school trig, pre-calc, or calc with a C or better would not be eligible for that preparatory semester. They'd be deemed successful enough to dive right into calculus. We just think this law went too far. Math professors like Rena Weiss of Moore Park College worry the new rules will force many STEM students who aren't yet academically prepared to begin with calculus, thus setting them up for failure. It's like removing piano one before taking piano two. Just go straight into piano two or just go straight into advanced uh, accounting without the benefit of introduction to accounting. There is so much content that students need to know, plus the math maturity that comes from uh, doing problems of that level before advancing upon them in Calculus One. In the course of our reporting, the Chancellor's Office announced just this week it's changing its guidance, making more students eligible for transfer level prior to calculus courses. Lowest performing students will be able to take two semesters, the next level up one semester. And STEM students who already completed the equivalent of these classes while in high school will still be placed directly into Calculus One. We asked the Chancellor's Office why the change. In a statement, they said the Chancellor's Office over recent months has engaged 
engaged in dialogue with faculty, administrators, counselors, and students about whether students who had not completed a class higher than high school level geometry or its equivalent would be fully prepared to enroll directly in Calculus One. The updated guidance provides additional options for less prepared students before taking Calculus One. We are very, very excited that the state listened to us. So that's great. Professor Weiss says she is cautiously optimistic, but still has concerns. Some students do well in Calculus One without a lot of preparation. Others really need the preparation. And so we believe in these courses. We believe that they need to be there. Uh, and we're cautiously optimistic that the state will let us continue to teach those courses in the future. The office says they will evaluate student progress over the course of two years and adjust, if needed, in 2027. Becca Habiger, ABC 10. And we also spoke with a student about her thoughts on this change. You can check out what she had to say on abc10.com. And I do want to mention California's largest nonprofit news organization called EdSource that focuses on education was the first to shine light on this community college math concern. Experts recommend any high school student with an interest in a STEM career should take as much high school math as possible before heading to college. It could save a lot of time and money further down the road.